I saw a music video where a movie clip was visible in the silhouette of the singer, and I wondered if I could create the same effect in Create Studio Pro. Turns out the answer is yes. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. This video will make use of the Track Mat feature. If you are unfamiliar with Track Mat, check out the Track Mat Basics tutorial. There is a link in the description. In this particular scene, I have three characters dancing at the bride's wedding. Each character is a silhouette with a musician playing an instrument showing through. Start by dragging the dance floor onto the canvas. Drag the bride onto the canvas and change her action to dancing. I found this violin clip on Pixabay, so I will drag it onto the canvas as well. Size and position the violin player to fit in the space of the bride's dress just below her waist. Okay, here I want the violin player to essentially show through the bride's silhouette. So the bride will be the mask in the track mat. So let's try that. Click on the musician and on the far right click on track mat. In the track mat panel, click on the word none, and for the mask, select the bride. We made some progress. The violin player is showing nicely through the dress, but the top of the bride is gone. The reason is track mat will display the intersection of two tracks, and the top of the violin video only went up to her waistline. So anything above or below or on either side of the violin video will not display. I am happy with the violin size and location, so I need another method of creating the bride silhouette. The way to do that is with the color fill effect on a duplicate track of the bride. It may sound complicated, but don't worry, I will step you through it. Click on the bride track and duplicate it with Command D or click on the duplicate icon above the timeline. That creates a bit of a puzzle because now we have two tracks named Bride. Which one is the mask so we can make the other track the silhouette? I happen to know that when a track is duplicated, Create Studio Pro will put the duplicate track on top. That means the bottom track is the mask. But I will pretend like I don't know that so I can show you how you can figure out which one the track map feature is using as the mask. We know we want to make one of the bride tracks the silhouette, so I'm going to guess wrong and rename the bottom track to Bride Silhouette. To determine if I picked the right one, click on the track mat icon on the musician track. When you hover your mouse over it, it will display track mat. Up in the track mat panel, I see the mask for the musician track is named Bride Silhouette. That is not what I intended, so to keep straight, I will rename the track to Bride Mask. And rename the other Bride track to Bride Silhouette. To make the silhouette, we will use the color fill effect. Open the effects panel by clicking on the star on the far left. Click and drag color fill down to the bride silhouette track. By default, Create Studio Pro uses a yellow color, so to change the color to black, click on the overlay word on the top right. Then change the yellow color to black. The solid black blocks out all the bride features and we can reduce the black a bit so some of the bride shows through. Position your mouse just above the overlay color panel and click. Just below the black color there is an opacity value and if I set that to 95% you can see the bride's features now show up. But it is still a silhouette. As I scrub through the video, I like what I see, so let's repeat the operation, but instead of an existing video, let's use Create Studio's Musician character. I am going to use Natalia as the mask. Let's move her to the side and change her action to dancing. Next drag the musician onto the canvas 
and change his action to playing guitar. Size and position him according to Natalia. As we learned with the violin player, with the musician track selected, click on track mat. And then select Natalia as the mask. Initially, it does not look very good as the musician's legs are visible, but the upper part of the musician is way too faint. So what's going on? Well, as we learned in the Track Mat Basics tutorial, a white color in the mask allows the character to show through, and a black color will do the opposite. To see this better, I will remove the mask. Notice Natalia's suit is a dark color, and that is blocking the musician from displaying, and her light-colored legs allow the musician to show up there. There is an easy way to fix this, so let me reset the mask back to Natalia. If we make the Natalia mask white, then that will allow the musician to show through. Again, we will use the color fill effect, so drag that down to the Natalia track. Click on the overlay word and change the color to white. Notice that we can now see the upper half of the musician. Alright, let's keep organized by renaming the Natalia track to Natalia Mask. Duplicate the track and rename the duplicate to Natalia Silhouette. We know the silhouette needs a black color, so click on the effects button in the top right. Click on Overlay, change the white color to black, and reduce the opacity to 95%. As I scrub through that, I see it working very well. Let's do one more, and since we know the steps, this will go much faster. Drag Cool Guy onto the canvas. Move him to the right of the bride and change his action to dancing. Rename the track to Cool Guy Mask and fill his color to white. Duplicate the mask and rename the track to Cool Guy Silhouette. Change the white to black and reduce the opacity to 95%. Add the musician and change his action to play in drums. Size and position him over Cool Guy. With the musician track highlighted, click on Track Mat and select for the mask the Cool Guy mask. Let's play that and see how it looks. Perfect! There you go, that is how to create videos playing through a character silhouette. Hey everybody, have a good day and happy creating.